Rev up your engines! Today I'm going to show you how not to destroy your car when you're towing it. Yeah, it happens to all of us. Some point in time, you got to have a car towed. Maybe it was in a wreck. Maybe it broke down. Or maybe you're just moving from one place to another and you can't drive it. So you're having it towed. Now over the years I've seen customers' cars being destroyed by being towed the wrong way. The first thing you got to understand is that if your car is an automatic transmission, you can't tow it with the drive wheels rolling on the ground because that can ruin the automatic transmission. I had a customer once, they were the craziest of all. They had a Subaru that was broken down in Austin that's like 170 miles from here. It was all wheel drive. Pull it with a tow rope the whole way on a highway. Not only did it destroy the automatic transmission, but it also blew the head gasket. Now the transmission got destroyed because when you drive a car, the engine spins the transmission. Inside the transmission, there's an oil pump that pumps the fluid, lubricates, and makes the transmission shift. If the engine isn't running and you're towing an automatic transmission, the fluid isn't being pumped through, it can destroy the automatic transmission. And in the case of the Subaru, it was even more nefarious because the transmission cooler went to the radiator. Since the transmission was overheating, that fluid got real hot. So it went through the bottom of the radiator where the transmission cooler is and made the radiator overheat. It got so hot that it ended up blowing the head gasket on the engine. And that's a two for one that you never want to have. It's not a good two for one, it's a bad two for one. So if you have a front wheel drive car like this Toyota Celica of mine that's an automatic, you have the front wheels picked up and it rolls on the back wheels that don't do anything except spin. And if you have a rear wheel drive car, the opposite. You have to have the rear wheels up in the air and the front wheels on the ground. And if you have an all wheel drive vehicle, don't tow it at all with wheels on the ground. If you're getting that towed, Use one of those land dolls. You know, the big tow truck comes, it's got the flatbed, then it tilts and comes back, then they use the little winch inside and they pull your vehicle on top. Their hydraulics pick the bed up and they drive down the road with your all wheel drive vehicle safe on top of this truck. Now, I personally advise that with any car these days because it's safer when it's up in the air, when they're towing you, what if there's a wreck? What if the guy's driving too fast and then kind of fishtails? You're much better having a car towed with one of those land dolls. Like I say, if it's all wheel drive, you really have to if you don't want to destroy it. Any car is going to be safer on top of one of those. But of course, the question arises, who are you going to use to tow your vehicle? Well, find out beforehand. Phones are great for that. You can do a lot of research, ask your friends, but it's a good idea to have a tow truck number on your phone. Because then you know that they have insurance if there's any problems and you won't have to worry. Because if you take potluck, hey, years ago I had a customer with a Jaguar. He was towing it over here because he said it wasn't steering quite right. So he tows it over, the guy drops it off, one of those lifts, and he had put the hooks on each end of the tie rods. So before he takes off, I drive it around the block to see what's going on. I could barely turn the wheel at all, so I told my customer, hey, you gotta get over here, something's really messed up. He got in the car and said, oh no, it wasn't like this. And we looked and we saw that the guy had bent the tie rods. And this was a Jaguar where you couldn't buy the tie rod, you had to buy the whole rack. It ended up costing thousands of dollars, but at least the company that he used, although their driver was an idiot, they did have insurance and the insurance paid for the whole thing. Now cars have setups for towing where you can put the hooks on. In the case of this old Celica, hey, they were well designed. Check this out. You go under the front, there's a tow hook here. Then we go to the other side. There's another tow hook here to put the toes on. We go to the back. There's a tow hook on the left. And there's a tow hook on the right. These things were well designed for towing. But all cars aren't that way anymore. Take my wife's Lexus. This is all plastic. Never hook up a tow hook to the plastic. You'll rip the whole front bumper off. This doesn't have any tow hooks underneath. Instead, it's got this little cover here. The little cover just pops off. Then you go in the trunk, and inside is a tow hook. Make sure you've got this tow hook, because it just screws in here. You want to make sure it's super tight. It's got a serious thread on it. <laughs> they don't want this thing coming off. Look at that. That is one long thread. Uh, this is what you use to tow it with. You don't want to rip off the front bumper. So if you have a car like this Lexus, hey, it's 18 years old. A lot of crap can happen in 18 years. 
make sure you have one of these if you don't get it ahead of time if you ever need a towed now if you're going to use one car to pull another one out of a ditch or mud or something these little probably propylene ones with hooks on the end are perfectly fine for that but kind of a misnomer here it says tow rope that's tow rope we read the fine print for recovery purposes only and follow that you can certainly put the hook on the hooks and pull something out they're made for pulling out but do not use one of these for towing them all over the place one it's illegal in most areas check your local laws but it's just plain dangerous and here's something i saw years ago i was driving on a highway with my wife one night and there's this big traffic jam so i drive my way around the traffic jam and what do i see there's a car with one of these ropes and behind it is a harley davidson motorcycle they had Ramp the rope around the front forks of the motorcycle, which is dangerous enough, and some fool was riding on a Harley going 50 miles an hour down the highway. Now, of course, that's total insanity, but even doing it with a car, it's dangerous as can be. You don't have much control. If you're going to tow another vehicle, you get one of those tow hitches and have it set up correctly. Heck, the U Haul is another company, rent those drive up ones where two of the wheels are driven up on it and the other two wheels are on the ground just make sure that if it's front wheel drive that the front wheels are placed on a dolly and if it's rear wheel drive that the rear wheels you'd back it up into the thing still though you gotta know how to drive something with one of those it's not that easy cornering and backing up is near impossible for most people with one of those things you're having your vehicle towed and you have towing insurance check your towing insurance first some of them are a total ripoff. Some of them will pay only a fraction of what the tow is going to go. I find one of the better ones is AAA. They tell you exactly what they're going to tow, how many free tows you get a year, and then how much it costs per extra mile. Like if you get the first five miles free, then it's a dollar a mile. That's a fair deal, you know? Look at the details first. Just don't buy it and then find out, oh, well, they're going to pay $40 of a $200 tow. That's not going to help you out. And if you do have a misfortune of being in a wreck, that's why I tell you, Find a good towing company first, ask your friends, do a little research, have the number on your phone. Because if you get in a wreck, the tow truck vultures are riding around waiting for that. If they get your wreck, they're going to want to tow it to their body place, to their storage lot, start charging a storage fee, and if they've got a body shop that they're affiliated with, they'll often get a kickback from that. If you don't know a good body shop and you get in a wreck, do this. Just have the vehicle towed to your house. By law, at least during the United States, the insurance company's got to pay for tows. They'll pay to tow it to your house, and then when it's time to get it fixed, they pay to tow it to the place that you get fixed. You don't want it willy-nilly stuck at some random body shop that you know nothing about that's giving kickbacks to the tow truck drivers. So now you know how not to get your car destroyed when you're towing it. A little bit of knowledge can go a long way to save both you and your car a lot of grief. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, Remember to ring that bell!